good morning. It's gonna snow today. <laughs> you tell I'm thrilled about that? I mean, two days ago it was uh, nearly 70 degrees and today it's really cold and it's gonna snow. Thanks for that, Minnesota. It's freezing. And daylight savings time is messing me up like everyone else. But I think it's seven o'clock, but it's actually eight. I need to go um, pick up my check at Picket. A lot of tags. Let's hope it translates to a lot of money. Nice. Wow, this is great. Yeah, it is. That's awesome. It's about an extra $200 more than my biggest check. So yay, guys. All right, let's see what we sold. <clears throat> Spring sign. I don't even remember spring. Oh, no, I do. The little ceramic one. Enamelware pot, $4. That was the one that was on sale. That's good. I was done with that. Bunny dish. Lots of bunnies. Planter, $8. White frame with copper mat. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That I painted. That was one of the 100 Projects 100 Days. Blue stool, $19, but was sold on Sunday. So they got a discount on it, but that was one of the 100 Projects 100 Days. White table, 100 Projects 100 Days. What is this? Artichoke statue. God, you guys, that was one of the first items I ever put in my booth. Like five years ago, I painted that. And I found it in a bin, I put it back in. <laughs> And I put a clearance tag on it. Oh, the little blue perfume bottle they removed all the little um, metal from. Remember, I picked it up in an auction hall and they had taken a picture of the good side. I removed all the filigree, all the metal filigree around it. So it was just a pretty blue bottle and somebody bought it. Chinese scroll. That's awesome. Oh, 1970s. Are these the green candle holders? Oh, please be the green candle holders. Scale sold. A bunny. Blue eggs. Oh, three blue eggs. Sweet. Those are ones I painted. Bunny wall hanging. Okay. Bird house. Tupperware cake decorator. April shower sign. Oh, yay. The Eiffel Tower sold. The little pink Eiffel Tower. <laughs> oh my God. Antique hand painted Austrian vase. Nine whole dollars. That was like on a bottom shelf. I'm surprised somebody even found it. The Lennox pot or planter dish that I had in there. Green and white footstool. Oh, my green and white footstool sold. Um, I did that right before Christmas. Upholstered it, painted the legs white. Cool. Bindings, seam bindings. Three chick Easter dish. That was the first thing that sold. Oh, a glass insulator. How'd they even find those? They're in a basket under the shelf. They dig, y'all. They're nosy. Uh, egg ornament. Garden rabbit, $17. Easter egg hair ties. <laughs> oh my God, that's funny. Pottery mug, six bucks. I knew that would go because I have a customer that buys those. Shakespeare sign, oh yeah. Pink shelf. Was that the corner shelf? Oh, yay. Also one of the first items I ever put in my shop, a blue frame. In the 100 projects, 100 days, blue frame. Egg ornament, a deer. 
Oh, that's that little Bambi deer that I picked up for 25 cents. I put a buck on him. And uh, the pink strawberry pot went. Oh, the new lantern sold. A bunny pitcher. Oh, the bunny pitcher. Remember the one that uh, I picked up and Jennifer com commented the puking pitcher? The puking bunny pitcher? <laughs> well, it's sold. So laugh all you want. <laughs> it's gone. Glass knob hooks, I was there when those sold. Black vintage purse. I gotta get back up there to um, Tooth and Tuck. That's where I got that one. That was that black purse that I got there. And I think I paid $3 for it. Sold it for 12. So that's awesome because, y'all, peacock wall hanging. Mm. It was made out of ribbons. So it's one of those um, like embroidered ribbon peacock wall hanging. Double. Resale, wholesale stuff. Um, I gotta I gotta pay that bill too coming up. Box, eight dollars. Rabbit head, twenty bucks. Oh, I didn't even see one of those go. Watering can. Sitting bunny. Oh, Kelly bought a lot. Bird dish. Oh, 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 I know. It was like the, it looked like a bird bath with the two little birds, the gray bird dish. Green nightstand. That's an awesome nightstand. Just patting myself on the back on that black drop leaf table. Two Inesco rabbits. Two Inesco rabbits. Oh yeah, yeah, the mama and baby and the daddy rabbit. They all sold. I picked those up at the last second. Enamel wear what? Cup. Told you those sell. Now I picked those up for 75 cents. This hasn't, I got the four new ones for 75 cents. This enamelware cup sold for four bucks. That's why I picked them up when we see them. Yellow handbag, $19. That's also from Tuce and Tuck, three bucks. Blue table, $17. Ugh, it just kills me. Wood pedestal. I had a wood pedestal. No, I didn't. Oh, no, I do know. It was that thing that I put the pots on. The woman was like desperate to buy it, so I sold it to her for 12 bucks. That was the one I bought for three. Metal candlestick, yay. I love when candlesticks go. Tupperware cutter, more Tupperware. Union sign, 50 bucks. I would not drop the price on that one for nothing. Campbell's thermos sold. Six dollars. I paid 50 cents for that thing. Shelf with hooks, 24 dollars. That was the punch tin. Oh, it's going to be great this month because I got another punch tin one. Turquoise and pink flower pot. Yeah, that was the last minute Goodwill pickup. An oil lamp and a candle oil lamp. Hooks. Hook and eye. Lois. Bias tape. Three wood eggs. $3. Faux mantle, 50 bucks. That's what I dropped it down to after Christmas. A pin, $5. Somebody found that bowl of pins. Hmm. 
Tupperware gadget. Marble egg. Oh, yay. Two of them. The red wall knob. Candace was digging to find that thing. Dolomite salt and pepper shakers. Yay. Vintage alarm clock. So stupid. I picked those things up for a quarter. What did I sell that for? 12 bucks. Picked it up for a quarter. Six blue eggs. Four dollars. Oh, that's one of the wholesale ones. Yay. Diamond die sign. And what's this last one here? I can't see you down there. Floral art. Y'all, it was a good month. It was a good month, and the store will be open in six minutes, and I'm gonna have my coffee and be the first one in the door. Well, $127 later, show you everything when we get home. I'm gonna do the thrift haul for you guys, and then I am gonna do my taxes. Oh, fuck me, doing my taxes. We'll get it ready to go to the tax accountant. So we'll start with the kids' clothes, just because to me it's the least interesting. This is the jacket I bought her. So you can see it's black with a leather look and wool body. So she can't say that mommy doesn't support her choices. It's like this really hot pink. Oh, guys, this thing's got to be worth money. Dollhouse outerwear. I don't know, It's it feels like good quality wool. But that's hers. I got her this to go over her swimsuit because she's become a young lady and she's wearing a bikini this summer. So I got her one of these little cover-ups to go over it. Because last thing I need is those boys sniffing around like dogs. This is a dress, it's a little black dress. And this was actually one of the things that was in the photo she sent me yesterday, was a little flare skirt, black thing with like striped underneath it, long sleeve. So this is my start. Hmm. Little flared skirt, black dress. And then there's this number. It's just a black long sleeve t-shirt. This was also in her images. So long, this stripe was in all the images. So that's why I picked this dress up. It's a dress, flared skirt, mini, with the black and white stripes that were in her picture. That's why I also bought this one because like I said, those stripes were in the picture. So evidently it's a thing. I'm thinking if like all the pictures had it in there, it's a thing. And then there was metal, like chains and things like that around the collar, like not collars, but like around the necklace. So like chains and metal detailing around the neck. So it was the collar. There's no collar though. Anyway, found this tank top with the metal detail on it. So little, little changes here and there, add little detail. And this one, oh, I love this one. It's gray, but it's got the metal detail. It's a t-shirt. It's long in back, short in the front t-shirt from Forever 21. And then, uh, but I just like that metal look and that's what she was kind of indicating she liked. So I got the detail on that one. This is one of those burnout shirts. She's gonna have to wear a tank top out of this. But it says Rebel. American made. So, one last kidlet shirt. It's just a, uh, you know, death mask thing. Day of the Dead kind of stuff. Um, and I don't care if it covers her boobs and her butt. I don't care. <laughs> she wants a little harder edge, a little more hard rock looking thing, which doesn't surprise me at all. 
being that she's my daughter and my husband's daughter. Now let's go through my stuff. I'm going to probably put a whitewash on this. It's a little half bucket that hangs on the wall, a little planter. But um, again, yard stuff. Although they have all these draconian rules for the yard now. They've always had rules for the yard, but now they're like hyper wooly. So this might go in my porch space. Oh, here's that queen size quilt. Something just fell on the floor. Okay. Anyway, queen size quilt. And it does, like it said, it had um, some spots on it, but I'm going to try and get those off. I mean, for $14, you kind of got to take that chance. You know what I'm saying? It's a quilt. And worse comes to worse, I can call it a cutter quilt and get like 30 for it. This is a throw. It was brand new. It's a Target throw. My daughter has stolen mine, and I want it back. She won't want this one. This is just an extra throw for the basement. It's chilly in Minnesota, guys. But I got her one as well. They had three brand new Target ones. Still all wrapped up and with all their tags on it. These are so warm. They're so warm. I love these things. Just lap blankets for being on the couch. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Susie Zoo. Susie's Zoo from 1976. It's a little trivet. So a lot of people hung these on their walls. My grandma would hang stuff they like the center wall. I actually have my grandma's three of them, two of them. But it says anyone for tennis, Susie Zoo. Probably going to go on Etsy. Brass wood screws. 50 cents. I just pick up different lengths of screws when I find them for a good price because... Always need them. Oh, look. And she hit the glass in there. <sighs> she put the glass pitcher I bought with the heaviest stuff in a bag that just finally ripped all out and I was carrying it by the handle. Why didn't she put it with the light stuff? It's a good one. It's a good color, right? I think it'll look cute just with some flowers in it in the booth, you know? And then I got a calendar. Uh, this is a tractor calendar. They just had a calendar. My husband could find calendars for 2021, so he wanted one for the kitchen. This is what I found. It was a buck. He was getting that one. Picked up some books for Victoria. One is the Hunger Games. It was 50 cents. Out on a whim. Kind of looks like her type of book. Dollar. She loves Diary of a Wimpy Kid. This is the do-it-yourself book, which I want to say we had this one at one time. Maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. Whose book was this? Emma. She actually put her address on it. Emma, don't put your address on stuff and then give it to the thrift store, sweetie. I will take that out of there for you, but oh. Then I got some drawing books for me and the kid. So I've been teaching myself to draw. I think I told you guys that once before and I showed you some pictures that I had done, some eyes and stuff like that, but baby animals. And horses. I'm not so fond of horses, but, you know, it's something to learn. I've been trying to learn to draw, so it'll be interesting to see if I can. Yes, I've been learning from books. And this is for the booth because it's Norman Rockwell poster prints. And either I will tear these out and put them in frames because people like Norman Rockwell. This is a nice one. Do unto others. I really like that one. Um, but yeah. It was $1.60 at a garage sale. I paid $5 for it. Mm -hmm. But the, 
the posters are nice to have. There's some iconic ones. There's some lesser known ones in there. They just make you happy when you see them. Just so quirky. <laughs> It'll be fun to have these. Uh, suitable for framing. Oh, only a couple things left. So this is the uh, crinoline. Came up with the name, you guys. The crinoline for under the wedding dress. So that was $15. So you know, I'm not going to take it out and show you guys. And the last bag is all blankets. So here's the one I was hoping she'd trade me, the one that she's got in her room for. If not, I'm going to go sit under a pink blanket because I don't care. This is a car blanket. It's a travel blanket. It plugs into your cigarette lighter. I have two other ones. One broke. So Victoria will have the one that works and I'm sitting there freezing. And then uh, she goes into school and then I get the warm blanket. But now we can each have a warm blanket because I replaced the one that's broken now. And for eight bucks. Oh, yeah. Take it. I will take it. And I love these. And you, those of you in warm climes are like, what? <laughs> it gets cold. So when it's 20 below and your car door is not insulated, they don't insulate car doors. This is what saves your leg from being frozen on the outside, being frostbit. Otherwise, you know, one of these works too, but it's not as nice as having one that's all heated up and snoodled up. Oh. So I got two of them. <laughs> they were $4 each, so I'm getting them. Brand new blankets are $4 each. I'm getting them so that when people are here and you're cuddled up on the couch, there's plenty of blankets for everybody. Nobody's cold but me. That's the truth. Got fabric. Why did I get fabric? I don't know. I don't need it. But look at the color. It's so good. Vintage fabric. Vintage upholstery fabric. So good. Might be quilting fabric. I don't know. Might be too thin for upholstery, but it feels like upholstery fabric. This is definitely upholstery fabric. These are upholstery samples from uh, Rich Loom. It's enough to do a seat cushion or a, uh, like a step stool. And they had different shades of the same rose print. And I love it. I love it. Love, 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 love. This top one's my favorite, but the rest of them will also be used. And look at the size. I mean, it's a good size. Normally you get these and they're like half this size. And I go, oh, I, mean, I can do a footstool. This I could do like a nice size seat or a footstool. And it's good quality fabric, y'all. Good quality fabric. So I got three for $5. Rich Loom. I don't know what Rich Loom is. Scotch guarded cotton. 18 inch vertical repeat, horizontal repeat, who cares? 54 inches wide, oh, whatever. Anyway, um, that's everything. And I am gonna let you guys go for the day because that's enough and I gotta do taxes and that's not very visually appealing, but I will get that other chair stapled up tonight and I will show you guys that later. Bye. Visit my blog, peonylanedesigns.com, for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up.
Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and of course more Junkin videos.